Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the last episode of year one for Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Nature Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. On this episode, as I said, we are going to be taking a look at the 27th and 28th of winter, which means the next episode is going to be spring season and therefore we're going to be kind of busy. So we're going to see how that will turn out because this is the last day of the season. We have no birthdays to speak of, so we can just do whatever it will be required of us in order to get as much as we can get done because these last two days are also the last two days when i can purchase relatively for cheap price certain things like rocks or wood from robin however if she is still working on our farm that will not be possible so let's go take a look at the tv see what is happening so it's gonna be snowing for the last day okay and the fortune today is a lucky day so theoretically we might try to go into these coal mines and when we walk outside let's take a look at the farm so we do seem to have mail there seems to be speed grow in the bone mail on top of that when we move lower we see that we have plenty of row from the fish ponds there's a ton of stuff in the recycling bins in the crab pots. If we go even lower, we see that Robin is actually working. So most likely tomorrow she should be available and we should be able to put in another request for another coop. And when we move to left from Robin, we see that three of the radium sprinklers have their crops ready. So there to be I will see if I will be able to harvest more of them tomorrow. I'm gonna keep that for that day. And then there's just the other crab pot. So not that many things uh, happening right now. We do have those trees growing at the bottom of the farm, which I will be chopping down for additional resources. But I'm actually really thinking that where i keep the lightning rods as a pathway or a fence i'm gonna put down the second row where it is going uh i will put down cobble path and next to it in that free space i might be theoretically tempted to put down for example a barn uh so i not not barn a shed so i will be able to move the kegs inside and there to be, I can put like two sheds over there. One will be just for preserved jars, one just for the kegs. So that they are not outside. And on top of that, we still need to finish off the community center. So I will be looking forward to getting more chickens so that we can start producing those eggs for the uh, home cooks bundle. And we still require the rabbit's foot and the pomegranate. So fingers crossed the fruit trees are done in the greenhouse so let's go take a look in the mail okay so we are receiving a recipe from clint because we gave him a birthday gift so this is the algae soup however since i want to build more fish ponds i will not be making algae soup if you want to know more about dishes such as these go check out queen of sauce versus npcs it's an epic video i did on the channel so yeah um other than that we do not seem to have any other like current tasks which are really really burning that need to be done ASAP. I'm gonna be moving the kegs away. I'm gonna be moving the beehives around. Stuff is gonna happen because we are gonna be busy busy. So yeah. Uh what is this type of fruit? Okay, so this is just a cactus fruit. I could theoretically go for some coffee. It would not hurt me. I should be able to have therefore at least some quantity of seeds available for planting outside. 
on the next episode of course we're gonna do the rhubarbs we're gonna do strawberries we're gonna do all sorts of fun stuff so make sure to subscribe so you know when that episode will be published okay so let's drop off all of these things and let's go take a look around at what can be gathered at the farm on the last episode i did install the two auto grabbers or auto collectors here so i don't have to do this manually but i don't like the placement of this one so i'm gonna put it over here and i will still need to pet my lovely moos and the goats so let's do that and i will talk to you once i'm done with the crap pods and all the other boring stuff Okay, so, uh, so I won't be, like, silent for the rest of the episode or something, because I would be capable of doing something dumb like that. Let's go grab some bombs, and let's go into these skull caverns and see if we can get just about anything out of them. I know, I know, it always takes me forever to get there, but I, I kind of cannot help it if i simply know that i need to do some stuff then i'll just simply have to do it uh, bus stop let's go like this so we do have stuff like the crab cakes and other things which are gonna help me out in these skull caverns i should have brought some of those blackberries or just about something to help me get through those tough spots uh let's see what's in here okay uh well the palm fossil is gonna go into the bone mill and we might get something decent out of it so yeah last 
two days of the winter season. Winter is usually the least popular season for all the players because they simply want to be doing the farming and winter does not really allow it besides the forgeables. So I can pretty much understand the frustration. However, it is a important season because it allows you to kind of get certain things done and get ready for eventually when you will be dealing with the farm and your crops and your schedule will somehow be based around that as a main priority so we're gonna try to carefully survive the serpent attack see if i can come across a ladder soon enough I'm gonna be forced at the start to try and mine for all the rocks which I can come across because I still have the chance to get to level like this and get to the bone just because I don't have the necessary resources. So this is unfortunate. I would have much rather preferred to be perfectly honest the Pepperex level because we did not as of yet come across the Pepperex level in the 1.5 patch of the game which truly sucks and I am forced to eat something immediately or I am totally screwed. So the craft cakes to the rescue and thanks to the fact that they have added speed bonus in combination with the triple shot espresso it's actually funny how it works out perfectly that we are gonna have twice the speed so theoretically it's almost like we are riding on a horse and we drank some coffee okay you serpents are really starting to annoy me and there are at least like three of them or something why are there so many serpents on a not that much of an unlucky day is my main question it's actually kind of funny that i'm feeling like on one of the previous episodes where we had a normal luck we were making much faster progress through the mines i definitely want to grab there's another one I don't think I will be exchanging it at the merchant for a spicy eel. The crab cake will just have to do it for now. Okay, another level, another nothing. Oh, shaft. Okay, that's the first one. Six levels, that's actually pretty damn decent. shocked that there are so few uh, notes of ore here so far I'm gonna have to eventually kill a mummy somewhere in order to be capable to produce a mega bomb I don't know why I did not purchase any of them it's just usually I know that I rather rely on the regular bombs they do not cover such a wide, wide uh, range but it still works out pretty damn well okay we're gonna actually go with the tortillas here because well i said so and by the time you're gonna watch this who, who, who knows at what time will this episode be published on the channel but based on the demand, I'm going to try to supply you with some Stardew Valley. I, I haven't played it honestly too much lately because there are just so many things going on. And after the Queen of Sauce versus NPCs, I was kind of, uh, well, I, I had uh, plenty of Stardew Valley hours put into that project. So you could probably understand why I wanted to take a little break from the title. Okay, 168 stone. This is the worst kind of level we can come across unless this happens. Uh, we apparently were in this level. There aren't even that many monies to speak of. I am, however, for some dumbass reason, running into the range of my own explosives and taking damage. So that's definitely unnecessary stuff on my end to do. If I do have these things, I'm gonna eat them in order to recover the HP and free up the back or the uh, space in the backpack. Those are the words I'm looking for.
So let's grab the red mushroom because that is a decent forageable. It sells well. It's gonna sell definitely better in comparison to the one which I'm getting from the mushroom cave because the foraging skill does not apply to those mushrooms, which is like the only advantage which the fruit bat cave might have because you are actually picking up the fruits from the floor. So if you reach the botanist perk, that skill is gonna be applicable and you are gonna be able to grab iridium quality fruit because normally if you want to keep getting better quality fruit from your trees it takes an actual year for the trees to be aging so let's say you have your year one and you don't get a single piece of fruit from your fruit trees then you have your second year when you get your normal quality i did see that diamond over there but i want to get deep into the mines and basically every every year the tree will age and it's gonna take you a couple of years to get to a better quality of the fruit but it does not still compare to stuff like star fruit and other things which are more available to you okay so 29 it's highly questionable if that is actually a node or if that is the crab the game really doesn't want me here today for some reason i don't know what did i do to it Yeah, if each of the serpents would give me actually a bomb back, I would not be mad. The question is, where is going to be the ladder? I know that under the large stones, you will never come across a ladder, but I wanted to crack it open just so that in case I will need to, I might be able to make the damn ladder. Okay, once again, taking my, uh, damage from my own explosives like a dum-dum. 16 bombs left. That ain't the best. But at least I did uncover the ladder. 31. Let's grab that solar sense for that mega bomb. There is a stupid quantity of gold there, but overall, thanks to my expeditions down here, I was able to acquire a lot of these things. So, we're gonna actually be going to the lower level. I don't mind staying here because I have the guarantee. Ooh, nice. Again, I'm getting these warp totems to the farm. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Ever since 1.5 patch, I have been getting this quite a lot. Okay, there's actually a crab, so... I'm not that tempted to be dropping an explosive here. Let's just ditch this level for another one. Might get more lucky. And because we have plenty of resources, I don't mind actually cannibalizing the iron and the coal. We do have, I think, like some 200 pieces of coal at the farm. And I'm actually tempted to go and tomorrow, if Robin is going to be done with the coop. Uh, to just purchase a ton of wood. I know that I have those trees growing there, but it's the last day when I can purchase the discounted... Uh... Why did I make this? When I can purchase the discounted wood, so why the heck not? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's do it properly. Let's grab some more solar ascents. I'm gonna pop you over here. We're gonna take a little detour. You do your thing. Clear out this giant chunk of area. How the heck did I not come across a ladder? That ain't even funny. Okay, there's a shaft at least. And we are gonna be ditching this level because, again, the game is trying to punish me for some reason. 
a mega bomb would be nice in here so we're gonna go with the sword for now at least until i clear out the game serpents and after that we're gonna pop another crab cake for that boost to our mining and speed let's drop these two bombs over here this is actual iridium i almost did not even notice it yes you heard correctly i almost did not notice it we're gonna take the shortcut this is gonna however give us some damage the more levels you fall the higher the damage you can actually sustain this is actual iridium so i'm tempted to drop the bomb here and even here and uh, even here uh and track here uh i need to pick damn it yeah, I kind of did screw myself over there because what I wanted to do is uh, to pick up that red mushroom, but unfortunately uh, it just wasn't meant to be. We're going to take the shaft here, make nine levels of a descent down. That is awesome. I unfortunately did take a lot of damage here, so if I can eat the cave curds, I'm gonna eat the cave curds. They are gonna be able to replenish the HP bar somewhat decently. I do have the warp totem to the farm, so I'm gonna have to rely on its use. I'm not gonna be taking the bus. It would be kind of idiotic of me to try and do that. I wanna grab the coal, which is why I took that damage there okay okay can we make the mega thingies no of course not so let's drop as many bombs as i theoretically can we're gonna clear out this level grab as much iridium as i can finally at level 59 I can say that I came across somewhat decent level for Iridium and it's gonna be 1 p.m. so let's just get some solar ascents out of these two fellas. It might allow me to make the mega bombs which I will need. Uh, there is first Iridium badge ever and I actually did come across a mega bomb as a loot. I want to kill this little bugger because they tend to drop iridium. We're going to take this thing. And 120. And I'm going to go and uh, warp to the farm. So this worked out pretty damn nice. Uh, we did get 45 pieces of iridium. We did a say seemingly decent descent eventually to the mines however at the start it was looking just pretty damn hor horrendously we do have the vertebra i'm not really sure if i have already dropped that thing off at the museum so most likely if i will have the capability i will drop off the palm fossil into the bone mill need to be careful with the explosives so that i don't drop them which is why i switched to the other set of items in the backpack let's take a look at the damage for today nothing really crazy most of the money is still from our artisanal production the cheese and the other things are really carrying the load so that's awesome and let's move on to the last day and see what can be done all right so the last day of year one the last day when i can get discounted resources from robin and uh, other than that it's the last day when i cannot do any proper farming due to the weather conditions other than that we have successfully finished the first year I do wonder how far are we gonna be able to get in the second year on the channel in 1.4 patch I was able to get to the fall season and 
uh, we still did not even manage to scratch the surface of how the farm would look like if it would be finished. So I'm not really sure if I will be going actually into the skull mines today. We do have the traveling merchant. We are going to be learning a brand new dish. We are going to have some work to be done on the farm. So let's see how it will go. Before that, let's take a look at what the weather will be on the next episode. This is going to be a beautiful day, so I'm really looking forward to the second year of spring season. We have a lucky day, and the Queen of Sauce is telling us, Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe, cranberry candy. Here's a fun one to help you celebrate the new year. This is actually not even candy, it's, it's like a juice glass, so it's a really weird dish. Um... Yeah, this is cranberry candy. So you need cranberries, apples, and sugar, and uh, Vincent loves this thing. So there's that. Once again, reminder to watch the Queen of Souls versus the NPCs. And let's take a look at the snapshot. So uh, in the upper right corner by the farmhouse, we do have our kegs, which are done brewing some stuff. If we go lower, we see that the fish ponds have our row and there is again stuff in the crab pots if we go lower we see the first cube has been finished so i'm gonna put in a request for the second cube and uh, most likely what i'm also thinking is that the trees at the bottom of the farm are gonna be chopped down when we move to the left side of the farm i'm glad that i did utilize that speed grow because it worked out like a charm couple of episodes back and I am therefore getting a full set of that's 8 times 24 so that's over 160 pieces of forageables and those are going to be turned into some future seeds some crystal wine or crystal fruit wine and the rest is going to just get sold for profit also, theoretically, I might be tempted to sell some of the starfruit wine, which I have at the farm. Other than that, we do see that the aged throw is done in the preserve jars. The cheese is done and that we do have also stuff in the mushroom cave and the greenhouse, theoretically. So let's go take a look at the computer. It might tell us what is the overall status we have 364 pieces of hay left out of 720 uh zero crops ready nothing is unwatered uh crops and greenhouse 10. i'm not really sure if that is related to the fruit trees we are gonna see and forageable items 192 yeah so a lot of them so let's get busy. We do have a lot of stuff to get done. I want to check if I did drop off that tibia or vertebra. If it's there, that means that we have processed it. So I'm going to actually turn that over here. I'm going to drop off some of these things so that I don't by accident blow up my farm, which would totally suck. I need to actually drop off some of these resources here because I have pulled off more and this is the first time ever I have pulled off more actual iridium out of the mines than I have my current stock of furnaces at the farm. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay, so need to somehow create some order in this mess and i'll talk to you once i have processed all of these things and we can move on with our schedule Okay, uh, it's too damn early for me to go see the traveling merchant, so I'm gonna most likely 
chop down the trees here. I do have 300 something wood, but I'm really tempted to go crazy and like purchase a ton of resources at Robin, especially wood related stuff, so that I can then be making a lot of things. I'm really tempted to build a shed and not a coop, but I do need that coop. I should go see Marnie and purchase my four chickens. I'm not really sure how I will be naming my chickens, if I'll just go chick one, chick two, and so on, and so on. But I'm trying to clear out this area because eventually, as I will want to put down like the uh, pathway and the fences and all the other stuff, it's just gonna be in my way. So this should have given me the time for the traveling merchant to open up the shop. And if I will be going to see Robin, I should not forget about the 10 pieces of hardwood which I should bring to her. I did not bring the maple syrup because I'm a dumbass and it's like an eternal issue with me. That is one overpriced yam. I would love to get it so I can make the, uh, what you call it, uh, glazed yams, but unfortunately I will not be purchasing any of her wares. So that's a tough cookie. We do have hardwood. Uh, I could theoretically go grab it from the secret woods. At least I will not be tapping into my reserve, although I do have still those mahogany trees growing at the farm. My issue is right now more related to the regular wood and not the hardwood. So let's try to clear out all of this. I was hoping there are going to be some forageables in here since we are coming here on the last day. And unfortunately I was wrong, so yeah, tough cookie really don't want to be playing around with the slimes because uh, if they keep hitting me they're just gonna slow me down and it's really annoying to deal with so I'm gonna have access to that hardwood which I do need for Robin and in return she should be willing to cooperate and give me whatever it is that I require and also speaking of uh, Iridium since we actually do have right now a lot of it and I will be purchasing a lot of wood from Robin I'm actually thinking about upgrading the axe to the Iridium quality I do need the watering can and the hoe for the next episode because it's just gonna be a nightmare otherwise Once the towels have been hoed and all this has been done the Iridium quality sprinklers are gonna do the rest of the job so I, I don't have to bother with none of that business let's use I just hope this won't be stuff that will have to go away or I'm gonna be kind of angry at myself so plenty of age row we're gonna see quite the variety pack did I even manage to pick up the row here? No, I, I kind of totally ditched the farm in order to see the traveling merchant and I cannot even say that it was really worth it. So let me get back to the business and I'll talk to you in a couple of moments. Or maybe not because we do have some deadline to work with because it's already kind of late. So how in the world do I want to pull this thing off? If I get rid of the trashy bits... Okay, so the triple shot espresso has worn off. That's not the best thing. Yeah, usually at least two up to three are going to be your uh, consumption rates. So you're going to have to count on something like that. Okay, uh, let's pop the last triple shot. Let's load in the row. Free up some of that pesky pesky space in the backpack.
And I'm gonna have to go talk to Robin and Clint. Dude, don't, don't. No! God, I love that dog, but that was a really bad thing he did. Okay, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna probably deal with the rest of that stuff later on. We are gonna be selling, selling, selling. Okay, so I need 10 pieces of this. I will require... How much for a coop is it? It's 300 and 100, so... 300 like this, and... 100. So there goes our coop. Um, the sap like this is worthless. I'm just gonna turn it into fertilizer. Drop it in here. Okay, so we need five iridium bars in order to upgrade you. We can take you. Uh, we have more time to then go do Robin stuff and I primarily want to put in that upgrade for that tool So first let's crack open these bad boys otherwise we will not be able to get this done The axe is gonna be a nice addition because we are gonna be burning through a lot of trees eventually and we are gonna require a whole lot more resources I'm not really sure how much wood do I want to purchase, but if it would be possible, I do need wood for further uh, constructions and uh, creation of ooh, prismatic shark and creation of other projects or artisanal crafting tools. So there goes that. This is done. Upgrade two. We need this. Thankfully, I did not click or misclick on any of the other things or that would have been a hell for me because I would have to redo this whole damn thing again and that would probably kill me inside. So collect reward, the drum block, I really don't like to use these things on the farm, I don't get the purpose behind them besides the fact that they make some noise when you touch them. Okay, why is it that I cannot extract that worm over there? I was hoping for some more valuable stuff, but I cannot be picky, I guess. 43,000 gold, so the first thing which we are gonna be doing is construct farm building. We are gonna go with the second coop. That is gonna go right next to the first one. So... It's gonna take time to get this process if uh, Demetrius would be so kind to not bother or block her wife, that would be great. And now for the fun part where I spent a lot of money on wood. And this is why I'm here, because it costs only 10 gold on next a day or next episode. The price is going to be much higher. I think it's what, like, 100 for stone and 50 for wood or something like that. I'm going to have to double check it, but that's going to be right after I get the carpal tunnel for purchasing, uh, like, what, 2000 wood or something? Yeah, it's not going to be fun. So give me a second here to get that carpal tunnel going. Why isn't there an option to do this, like hold it and it will just keep on draining my money and the wood will keep on coming. The funniest thing is also that I have just finished a quest for an NPC. So if I want to, I can collect the reward and then I can purchase some more wood still. Stone, stone is doing well, but wood is gonna be a nightmare, so let's try to deal with it. 
one eternity later. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna recover my finances through actually uh, going and selling uh, the starfruit one which is saved up at the farm and I still need to kind of finish with like milking and all the other jazz so th this is like kind of all over the place but I wanted to make sure that I get these two things primarily done I will be putting the morale most likely into the kitchen and try to not sell it and what would really make me happy is if I would actually see the damn Fruit trees done, but they are still not done. Yeah, just give me a moment to get this processed and we can then proceed with the episode. I know this will be all over the damn place. I do apologize for that, but I'm trying to do as many things as possible in order to prepare for the upcoming events. So, yeah. Sorry, I guess. You know, I probably need like another chest for all this wood. The good news is that I will be getting coffee from the greenhouse. I really need to make sure to sell starfruit wine. That's 10 bottles. That's gonna be killing killer profit. Where do I keep the prismatic shards if I even have some at the farm? That is a good question. Okay, I have two. So let's say hi to the ladies. Let's replenish our food. We get that cheese going right now. We are going to get it in time to collect it and turn a more profit. However, mostly I'm going to get money for the star fruit wine, which I don't mind. I do have some seeds already ready, already ready. Yep, that that's the level of English. I have come across, thanks to having a couple of hundreds of hours of Stardew Valley on the channel. Um, it's, it's just gonna be less of a hassle to try and chase after some of these things. And I will not have to go see Pierre. Why am I? Oh yeah, the morels. The morels. Those can go here so we can make two fried mushrooms eventually. Because George is gonna have his birthday shindig. So what do we have ready for the spring season? We do have uh, some kale. We do have rhubarb. We do have cauliflower. We do have strawberries. I'm gonna go pick up those lovely, lovely uh, coffee beans. So yeah, overall pretty damn decent stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to make here a bunch of kegs and a bunch of more cheese presses. Also, we're gonna have to build some mayonnaise machines as a theoretical fence. I did not manage to go see Marnie, which was kind of a big no-no on my end, but uh, that's gonna mean Damn, uh, it's gonna take two episodes for me to actually be able to obtain the first chickens. 
But that, that's not the worst thing because at least uh, we are going to have two coops at the same time. So it might work out eventually. And the question is, where do I want to build the preserve jars? So that we get the most yield out of them. And where do I want to make more recycling machines? Uh, and now I'm seriously missing stone. Okay, that's fun stuff. How much stone do I have left? That's the question. 28 pieces. Goddamn. Okay. That kind of ruined everything for me. Uh... What are we missing? Iron bars. We need to smelt stuff. So let's separate this into... Still have plenty of coal to work with. More preserve jars for more preserving. Couple of kegs. That goes there, that goes there. Some cheese presses would be nice, but we require again stone for those kinds of projects. Um we can go theoretically to the quarry, but yeah, whatever I will be doing here for the rest of the episode is just gonna be trying to somehow manage to squeeze the maximum out of the last day of the season. So definitely consider subscribing so you know when the next episode is dropped so that we can start tackling spring season and it is gonna be a whole lot of fun hopefully. For more fun content such as this or more, check out the channel. Link is in the description. I publish content on a weekly basis, so if you subscribe, you will hit the notifications. You will know what gets uploaded from Mondays till Fridays. I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Thank you for following me through the first year of the Beach Farm playthrough. It's been a blast. And I will talk to you in the comment section or at the next one. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe out there and bye-bye for now. And I'm going to actually need to find a decent spot for all the beehives, too. So that's something to consider. Oh my god, I totally forgot to harvest all of this stuff. That would have been such an awkward end to the first year. That would really be an awkward end.